Um, one of the other things that was demonstrated in the render was uh, the watch. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, this is really just a technical demo. Uh, you probably wouldn't uh, create a user interface that looked like this, but you certainly would use the technology that is used to implement this to implement a user interface. Um, so uh, the first thing to notice is the bezel is reflective because that's literally a reflective bezel in uh, real life. And we simulate the reflective bezel in the 3D scene. Um, this isn't going to come through very well, uh, but if you show this in a darkened room, in a darkened environment, um, each of the watch face elements will light up. They glow in the dark because those are defined as emissive elements in the 3D scene. Uh, they are partially lit by scene lighting, but they are predominantly lit by their own sort of internally generated you know, glow-in-the-dark quality. Um, so I'm just going to cover up the camera to block my office light to show you what it would look like. But you, you'll have to trust me that this looks way more impressive when you see it in real life. So I cover it up. The reflection goes away. And the only thing that's left are the watch face elements because they are emissive. So let's move on. Uh, next thing I'll show is, let's show an example of how you could use this in a, you know, real world useful application. So I'm going to pop o open my mock-up of a web browser here. And we are ostensibly looking at the New York Times website. And a user would flip through here and read their morning news. And one of the things that you'll see in, uh, you know, some website like the New York Times are advertisements. So let's go back to this advertisement that I scrolled by. Looks static because essentially I'm not moving my phone around. But if you move the phone around to any degree whatsoever, you'll see that a few things are happening. First, these are Dorothy's ruby red slippers from Wizard of Oz. And they actually have a glittery surface that is sort of very catching when you see it in real life. And also the Oz symbol is somewhat reflective and reflects the light of the office that we're in. So, you know, if the user is, you know, sitting, sitting here browsing through the web, uh, rather than having sort of a, a garish, eye-catching video, you know, you have this sort of polite, subtle effect of, hey, there's glittery shoes, maybe you should check out, you know, what we're trying to show you in this area. So that's one, that's one possible implementation. This could be applied you know, frankly, in a lot of different places, like um, you could actually implement uh, a file wrapper for the information that's in here and transmit it just like you would transmit a JPEG or a GIF in an email or, you know, put it in a word processing application or uh, whatever you want. Uh, let's have a look at, uh, let's have a look at this. So this is an example of what Mother of Pearl looks like. So uh, we've actually implemented a mother of pearl shader to show how the light reacts. Reacts just like real mother of pearl. And essentially, that's, you know, fundamentally, that's how Erasmus, Project Erasmus works. Um, I haven't talked about the view vector of the user, but we can also... Uh, adopt the view vector to the user.